area with a special focus on the five boroughs in New York City. You know, that's the way to say it because you look at wins, two of the hallmarks of wins are being consistent and being familiar. And that's also probably a hallmark of a great news organization. So that's not changed. A lot has changed around us if you think about it. You know, I used to call it the Battery Tunnel. Now we have to call it the Hugh (laughs) Carey Tunnel. (laughs) You know, reporters used to run around town chasing a story. They could drop a token to get into the subway. Now pretty soon they're not even going to be able to use a Metro card. So things have changed. Technology has changed. We're responding to that. That's one of the reasons WINS is now on. FM, But what has not changed, to I think the point of your question is mm. the mission of WINS today in 2022 is the same as it was in 1965, which is to be the go-to trusted source for news, traffic, and weather in New York City. That's right. And whether we're reporting on a horrible hurricane or, you know, the Halloween dog parade, we're still the same radio station and we give you the news that is important to you, you know. Um, so, true story. On 1010 Day, October 10th, as we call it, folks were giving you heat for not getting us station swag, and you had the best comeback of all time. Yeah, so so 1010 is a holiday around here, created by previous general managers, and used to get gifts on 1010 Days. It's been come to my attention that I fell in that responsibility mm-hmm. the last couple of years. I didn't give enough swag out on 1010, so I came into the newsroom and said, you're right. I'm going to give you an FM. Here's the thing. You can't take the gift home with you, though. It needs to stay on top of the Empire State Building. That's right. You wanted a T-shirt? I got you an FM station. There you go. Best gift ever. Thank you so much, Chris. Okay, from a market president to an international celebrity who also calls the city his home. Dear Mr. Hamilton, your fellow Petralists would like to know how you'll be voting. History has its own. This morning marks an historic day in history, and joining us for the big moment, a quintessential New Yorker, Lynn manuel Miranda. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Susan. Thanks for having me. You know, totally true. We did not ask anyone else to be here for this this morning. And aside from your celebrity, of course, it's in part because you really epitomize the New York story. You know, parents from Puerto Rico, born and raised in New York. What does it mean to you to be a New Yorker? Would there be a Lynn manuel without Inwood? Well, yeah, there would be, but he would be very different. And, you know, I, uh, to me, the 1010 Winds logo is, is sort of synonymous with waking up in the morning. Uh, that, that was the alarm sound my, my parents would wake up to on, on their AM radio dial. So it's quintessentially the sound of New York, just like the sound of, uh, you know, a subway leaving a station. 1010 Winds is just part of the soundscape of my childhood and my, and my life in New York City. It's, it's where you start your day. I'm reminded of the song in Hamilton, Who Tells Your Story? Because we've got 8 million stories in the big city, right? And that's what we do. We tell those stories every day. So any memories of listening to 1010 Winds? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's funny. It's it's really etched into my childhood. And again, I, I lived uh, in Upper Manhattan, but I went to school on the Upper East Side. So what I associate with it is my parents driving in the car and waiting for that traffic moment to decide, are we going down the FDR or are we going down the Henry Hudson Parkway and waiting for 1010 Winds to weigh and tell us where the traffic was heaviest uh, so that we could, you know, improvise accordingly. So that's very much etched in my brain. Congratulations, by the way, on Hamilton being performed in Germany in German. How awesome is that? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, the, the the Hamburg production of Hamilton was really quite surreal. It's, um, ev- all of you have had this experience, but it was my first time seeing Hamilton and not knowing the words. Uh, and and it was um, w- when that happens, the joy is in seeing the incredible work your collaborators have done, the incredible choreography. It's incredible cast. Um, so that was really. Uh, Pretty incredible. So you've traveled all over the country and all over the world with your projects, but there's no place like New York, would you say? Yeah, well, listen, I, you're talking to a very biased uh, interview subject. I live in the same neighborhood uh, I grew up with. I married someone who grew up in my neighborhood, um, and we're raising our kids in the neighborhood we grew up with. So, yeah, we wouldn't we wouldn't trade New York for the world. You know, you come here, and within one year, you're a New Yorker. It's so true, right? Yeah, I, I always say the, the measure of a, a real New Yorker is when you walk into your local bodega or deli, and they, they just start working on your order when you walk in. Yeah. You have to really earn that status. <laughs> Lynn manuel Miranda, thank you so much for being with us on this historic day. It's almost that time. So how about counting us down? Sure. It's an honor to be the one to throw the virtual switch and kick off a new era in news in New York. In five, four, three, two, 
one. 10 10 wins is now on 92 3 FM. Heading up the Canyon of Heroes. New York City. You hear the roar of this crowd. A city like no other. Happy 125th birthday, Statue of Liberty. A city with swagger. It's a great day to be an American. It's a great day to be a New Yorker. At the core of the Big Apple is heart, and we all feel it here tonight. We've cheered together. Yankees win. No! Win. And shed our share of tears. Massive efforts were undertaken to try to bring John Lennon back to life. The debris from the TWA flight. A sneaker floating upside down, a seat cushion. We've been through a lot together. The city of New York is still without power. The first can of gas has gone off, the second one, the third. Police have captured a man whom they believe to be the son of Sam. The massive superstorm is not far away. Our resilience is unbreakable. I can hear you. The rest of the world hears you. And the people who knock these buildings down will hear all of us soon. Never giving up. We've had a miracle on 34th Street. I believe now we've had a miracle in Hudson. Today, history is being made once again as 1010 Wins can now be heard at 92.3 FM. Juliet Papa, 1010 Wins, reporting live from the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Glenn Shuck, 1010 Wins, here in Lower Manhattan. Carol DeUria, 1010 Wins on 135th Street in Harlem. Samantha Liebman, 1010 Wins in Prospect Heights. Roger Stern, 1010 Wins in the Bronx. Eileen LaPalmer, 1010 Wins News. New York and the Tri-State have a new home for all news, all the time. 1010 wins at 92.3 FM. It's about time. WINS, WINS FM and HD1 New York. Hi, I'm Ed Sheeran and 1010 wins can now be heard on 92.3 FM. Always live on the free Odyssey app. All news, all the time. This is 1010 wins, New York. Good morning, 57 degrees, 9 o'clock Thursday, October 27th. I'm Lee Harris.